Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So I am going to talk about Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore, ISC Bangalore. And I am going to talk about all of the courses, eligibility, entrance exam, fee structure and the other admission process related thing for 2025. So, as you understand, ISC Bangalore is one of the India's most prestigious institutions for higher education. And it was started in 1909 and it is more than 100 year old and best institute in India. And as talking about the NIRF ranking for all the categories, like overall category, it is a second best position in India. And under the university category, it is a number one position in India. So, that is that. And I will talk about this later in the video and how you can apply to this institute and application process as well as the cutoff for this is very high it is minimum 99 percentile in j advance you need to have to get admission here right not talking about the different courses which are here like uh, bachelors of technology btech is a new program which started in 25 26 and uh, uh, then you i'm going to talk about the bachelor of science research 25 26 mtech admission process and research mtech and program admission so all of these options are available to study one of the prestigious among them is btech in mathematics and computing before that let's have a short campus first Now talking about the courses, programs, eligibility and the qualifi qualifying exam. So if you talk about bachelors of science, BSc research at the BTEC, for these two courses, the eligibility is that you can you have to be 10 plus 2 pre-university, that is class 12 standard pass. And the qualifying examination for this is J mains, then you have to pass J advance, NEET, UG, SAT, ACT. So, depending on the course which you are you are getting into BSc research, uh, these exams are acceptable scores. And for BTEC, you have J advanced scores, right, which you have to pass. And uh, for BSc research, you have disciplines available like uh, biology, chemistry, uh, environmental, materials, mathematics, and physics. For BTEC, you have maths and computing. That's the branch. Now, for the students who want to study MTech, MDES management courses right and msc programs right so those that is shown in the pink color 
for mtec the minimum requirement is you should have btec be br or bsc for msc programs the requirement is you should have passed bsc bsc biotech bvsc which is veterinary science pharma sciences b or btec and then you uh, the acceptable exam scores are like gre gate gmat depending on the type of course it is right and for all uh, mtech for uh, all engineering disciplines uh, and then there is a life sciences chemical sciences courses that's why you see other be bachelors of science students also there now phd and mtech research that is the third one which is you are seeing in the green color and eligibility is you should be msc mca m pharma mbbs btech be b mtech and so on right for doing that course for mtech part it is a uh, minimum requirement is be btech for phd part minimum requirement is master's course they not mandatory but they accept gre ielts and toefl some for some uh, some like a qualifying exam and all academic departments and others are available for phd and mtech also talking about btech in maths and computer science or computing that has a strong foundation for maths computational and data sciences at ug level and for maths and computing you should have appeared for class 2 and uh, standard in 23 24 or 25 batch with physics maths and chemistry as one of the compulsory subject and you must be within category of uh, 20 top 20 percentile of successful candidates in your respective uh, 12th class board examination and five subjects marks uh, will be considered for aggregating the cutoff for fulfilling the top 20 criteria so top 20 percentile criteria should include physics chemistry mathematics and then one language uh, which you have taken uh, which has higher marks will be considered for within the language and any other subject the fifth one over and above the four subjects will be considered with highest marks now the procedure to apply is you have to fill the application form which is available only online and the online application may be prepared and submitted to this uh, this uh, link right which is admission.isc.ac.in and if you are international student you will ha also have to put backslash international and then upg ugpg courses and there is no application for fees for this so this is basically uh, free in terms of the form fees but you will be required to provide the scanned digital copies for completing the application form you have to provide the scanned copy of passport size photograph which should be less than 2 mb in size now the for the btec program the start date for btec maths and computing is all between 1st may 2025 and last date for submission of application for btec maths and computing is up to 6th june 2025 so you have lots of time available after the j means uh, second round results are available even the j advance results right and after that updating of j advance all india rank in the online application form up to 6th june that is you can do after the advance results are over and the classes are going to start on 1st of august now let me talk about the fee structure so fee structure for first year will be like 3 lakh rupees per year right and this is the same fees which is applicable for for general merit student as well as well as oci and piu that is student from other overseas and person of indian origin same fees is available which is 3 lakhs in first year in second third and fourth right from the year 2 to year 4 the fees will be 2 lakh 65000 per year and amount to be paid in the fourth fifth year also will be same 2 lakh 65000 so other information about the course and the details are also available at this uh, where fee structure is provided in detail now some of the important doubts about the btech course like uh, does it has a super numerary quota for female candidates good news is yes the 20% of the seats are provided in super numerary quota over and above the total seats specifically for the female candidates so that's a good news so the next is that do i need to apply for four year bachelor of science bsc research and btech in mathematics and computer science separately yes an application needs to apply separately for two programs if you want to apply only for btech you can do that if you apply for btech and bsc research both you can do that in a separate form next is what are the different opportunities available after the graduation in btech program in maths and computing as you can do masters as well as the phd program which are well recognized across the globe and has a significant demand in demand in the industry as well now what is the hostel and the mess facility available at isc yes and where ug students will be housed nearly 3000 students including about 500 girls are housed in 
different hostels and campus so two hostels each with the capacity of 600 is probably has been built recently so girl students will be getting in these hostels and ug boys hostels are there first two years will be there housed in a single hostel and they have two messes to cater to different type of taste for cuisines across india so will there be any personal interview the answer is no there will be no personal interview as part of screening process now for candidates who are coming from foreign or the oci and the pio quota for btech in maths and computing they also need to appear j advanced 2025 so that is the criteria and please note that candidate must be qualified in the j advanced and the result must be valid as of 1st august 2025 and for the students who are coming through oci p you know p person of indian origin pio quota they should also provide the scanned copy of their photograph which should be less than 10 mb and OCI students should also provide the passport copy, right? That is what 10 less than 10 MB and OCI mentioning the acquiring date of that passport, right? So that's all I have to cover in this particular video. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe channel to get similar updates. Take care and bye.